Hey everybody, welcome back to chapter 6. We're going to finish this bad boy off. Um, I did a whole bunch of missions, so I should be really strong. Activating combat mode. This'll do. Oh yeah, I want to change my... Change my equipment. Uh, sure, that'll do. I want to go back to Costa del Sol. That was fun. But not fight with an umbrella. Ow. Here we go. Heads up. Here we go. Later. This'll do. Bye now. The end. This'll do. This is really going to give you a good idea on how they're going to do this in Rebirth, and I love it because Junon is going to be in Rebirth. For sure. Because it's so early in that part of the story. And it's such a pivotal role, they're not going to save that for the last game. It's not going to be one of the things that they... Whoa! What are you, from Final Fantasy VIII? Blader. I don't like it. I don't like it that it's the same character, same enemies, just Professor made Hollander into something escaped. else. What? They already hit us upstairs? No, but security was spread thin after the attack, and he used that opportunity to escape. He escaped? On his own? Yes. It's as if he knew an attack was about to occur. It's possible that he received some outside help. Where is he? Are there any leads? Cameras in the sixth level of Upper Junon have a positive ID on Hollander. We're on the sixth level of Lower Junon, so he should be somewhere up ahead. To go to Upper Junon, go through the central passageway gate and go straight. Press the switch to operate the gate. All right. You look after the wounded. Sir! As for Hollander, Leave him to me. Who new mail from Pencil? Zach, where are you? Soldier operatives are being sent out because we're being getting attacked from all over the place. I'm on a chopper myself on a way on my way to an assignment. You were on vacation, weren't you? Did you did it get cut short? These recent attacks may spell real trouble for us. What's worse, the chain of command is in shambles since Director Lazard suddenly disappeared. Nobody seems to know where anyone is. Mm. Oh, one of these guys again. Can we just not? There he is. <laughs> Don't scoff at me. Come on, man. Stop pestering me. 
Activating combat mode. How about this? Bye now. Here we go. Take that. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get proficiency in no time. It really does look like remake. Like, hold down triangle. I was half expecting to see that there. Hold down the triangle. Taking you down a peg. This'll do. Oh, oh, it's that thing. I hated that thing in the original. But hopefully, I don't think it's going to be as difficult if Tonberry's in the indication. A new model? Yeah. Just you wait, Hollander. Activating combat mode. Bye now. Taking you down a peg. Oh. I almost killed it. I almost killed myself. Take that! Taking you down a peg. Right. Here we go. Oh. This'll do. I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I have. Oh, that defeated it? That was really lucky, it seemed. This area has mostly been cleared. We'll lock the gate and make this a place of refuge. Making progress, huh? As for me, I still haven't secured Hollander. Gotta move. Yes, understood. Is that kid over here? Mr. Soldier, please do something. Oh, so this is gonna be one of those. I can talk to people and okay. Let's save real quick. I may go to those doors later. Um, I know that's probably part of, like, you can get pick up extra missions and things like that, but I'm just gonna progress the story for now, and I'll come back to that next time I get to this. That way is the air base. He's trying to get away by air? No way. <sighs> come, come, come. At least buy me dinner first. I wonder what happens to Juna if you can't stop them. Hmm? Ah, damn it! He's destroying the gate to attack the civilians. Hollander, once I catch you, I'll deck you good! I need to equip Thundaga. The weapons Hollander used to escape are now headed to the evacuation area. Destroy them before they can bring harm to Junan's residence. 
You can initiate battle with the weapons by coming into contact with the enemies. Make sure you destroy all weapons to prevent them from breaking through. Start with the ones closest to the defense line. Okay. So... I need... Something that has... Oh, okay. Thundara. Thundaga. Got away. Hollander, you'll pay for this. This reminds me somehow a lot of Hollow Bastion um, when it turns into Radiant, Radiant Garden. 
I mean, just the layout of it, not the aesthetic, because that's pretty different. Oh boy, is this gonna be a guard scorpion? Yep. But this thing's pretty easy though, compared to, I mean. Now we've got scorpion types? Hollander's too well connected. Activating combat mode. This'll do. Here we go. Bye now. Heads up. Oh, it's called Prototype Guard Scorpion. Hollander's that way, right? I really have to get serious now. You weren't serious before, Zach? Tisk tisk. That's far enough. Is he gonna do a Hojo thing? Really? You sure? And like turn into a weird hey! beast thing? Or just what kill himself? He... Oh. Uh, Should have known. Mission failed. This goes on your permanent record. Uh, <sighs> huh? Sephiroth? Long time no see. Let the Turks take care of the rest. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. The situation has not resolved. Genesis copies have been sighted around the world. That can't be. We wiped out those Genesis copies. Did Genesis really die? That was just a copy. Maybe. They've I don't been know. Sighted in Midgar as well. I see. The slums, too. Permission to return. Granted. Uh, uh, yeah. Take care. You too. Hey. What's going on in Modeoheim? The device Hollander was using has been stolen. Genesis? Probably. <laughs> we'll meet again soon. I'll hold you to that. Oh yeah. When Sephiroth creams you, knocks you into the reactor tank thing. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface. Quietly, but surely. That cannon looks a lot different than the original, though. Okay, so that might have been, I think that was chapter six. Yes, we're going to save this. Um, this was uh, a lot shorter of a chapter. Um... But that's fine. We'll leave it at that. 
Um, and then we'll we will see you next time when I do some more missions for, uh, and we'll go into chapter seven. Um, so it looks like there are three more chapters left to go. And really, the most exciting thing thing that I'm most excited about are all the enemies that we saw in Final Fantasy VII and the original that we didn't get to see fully fleshed out in remake. Because what they're doing is they're refleshing them out. Um, so that they look exactly like the ones that they that we see in remake. So the ones that we haven't seen in remake, like Hungry, Hungry was one of the weirdest, best ones. Dorky face, those those kinds of enemies that look kind of crazy and like you wouldn't. You, I don't think like people would make those kinds of enemies now because they want to make them human looking. They want to make them. Um, you know, as realistic as possible or as animalistic as possible. Like um, if we look at games like uh, one I played recently, Horizon Forbidden West, um, they're all machines, but then they're also like imitating animals or dinosaurs. And that's really cool. And it, it, it kind of makes sense. It makes you feel like you're really immersed in the world. It makes it feel realistic. But unless it's like a really cartoony game, where are those enemies that are like, uh, you know, these, um, uh, really like the, that pumpkin head enemy or like, I wonder if we're going to get that, uh, the one that hangs from in the, in the Shinra mansion. Well, any enemy in the Shinra mansion is really weird. The one that hangs from the ceiling and, and goes across like that, uh, has that blade for the bottom half of the body and the top half is a person with like long white hair. It's weird. It's interesting. And in fact, that might actually be a good thing to uh, play into that whole Genesis copy thing because that monster looks like he could be a Sephiroth copy. Um, but anyway, um, I'm not going to get too long winded here because this uh, you know, it's not very often that I get to have a shorter video like this. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.